Good evening, chaps and chapettes. Rogo here. Welcome back to One Shot Solstice. Might be the last one, not sure. Either way, this we should be finally meeting Rue properly. Hello, Rue. You're here. Nico. Are you Rue? Yes. Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but uh, everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. Um, how? Legitimate question because elevators fucked. Original elevators fucked. Seriously, where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh yeah, of course there was the other elevator, wasn't there? Let's see if this elevator works. That I believe in Luya. By the way, Fru, 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 Foxy, all your friends are dead. Dot dot dot. Where are the other two? Prototype, Cedric. They're supposed to be here already. They. Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring him back with a memory disc, but he was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I don't think he made it. Oh. Mm, bollocks. There goes our only chance. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologising to you. Yeah, you could have told me this the first freaking time we met. There's one last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Okay, I'm presuming you mean go out and literally up the stairs. Oh yeah, and I, I, I checked up. Apparently, right from... Uh, you didn't... That clock wasn't on when we did our original playthrough because it was the first time through. But if you if we got to this point on your second or more playthroughs through the game, that clock started counting down to a specific date when the DLC came out. So the DLC was bland. So when you say upstairs, I'm presuming you're meaning here. You know, this is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favourite place in the world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives must be behind each window. Well, currently it's a bunch of corpses. Dot dot dot. Can you lift me onto the banister? Are you about to jump? I want to get a better look. No, you're going to jump. Ah, that's kind of nice. It was depressing for me at first too, you know, knowing that all of this is, well, fake. Simulated. Cedric told me about what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how he must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again? That's probably not all that different from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You're prevented from going home by the same indiv individual you never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? The world machine. You might know it as the entity. Oh, that dick. The entity does sound familiar. I think I've heard of it from the dice lady from another time. Was it the spirit of the world? Yes. You're very happy considering you know the only two friends in the world are dead. But the thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. But our creator specialised in artificial intelligence for so long it was simply ingrained into his work. And all our machine and, and all machines are built with a fundamental law never let a living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Heavy. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately, sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. The essential conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. We can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. The squares. That's the world machine corrupting its own code. My creator says it's largely an involuntary process induced by stress and desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows. So I know this has been going on since the beginning then. Yeah. The disruption was an issue during test runs even. At first my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time he realised the actual roots of the problem, our homeworld's remaining lifespan was measured in days. Oh. Is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real. Myself included. The odds are against us, we have no chance of taming it. Taming. I've heard that word so many times, I only know it's complicated and it has something to do with robots, but for once I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Are we talking biblical no? Because I don't think Nico's that sort of chap. A robot is not a real person, is it? Right. So being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. 
They can be copied, they can be mass produced, they can be assigned all sorts of jobs. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more of a limitation than anything else. Ah, oh, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts thing. Yeah. But while you can't build a robot to not follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. I'm sorry, my voice is starting to go. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real valid individual. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine living person, even though they're not. <coughs> you need to spend a lot of time with it, treat it like a good friend, devoting your heart to the robot until it's able to return your feelings. <laughs> I make it sound so easy, don't I? No. <laughs> but you and Rogel know better than anyone that it's not. Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. Now, this content update involves some pretty deep code word. My code word. My creator was able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what he could and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent it's breaking down altogether. Even though the world machine always had self-destructive tendencies, i.e. being a dickhead, it usually restrains itself when you are in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. Heavy. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're going to get you there. Well, shit. We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Yeah, my reacting exactly, Rue. Hello, Deus Ex Machina and Cedric. You guys are alive. Yep. When the factory started collapsing, I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough. It actually didn't take me too long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Father's book. He had made my design documents be compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some, some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. Programming is really sucking his own dick right now. That he does. <laughs> I'm just glad everyone is okay. Same. So, we're ready to go now, Nico. Okay, I've got my little JRPG party. Where's Sephiroth? Oh, this is... No one who wanted us all be here for this. What are these things, anyway? Co-portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain, but basically my father has hidden a decryption key into our code with a text file as its shell. But to get to them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys combined into a central location and we activate an encrypted part of this world which will confuse cat noises. <laughs> Rue, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on Roggle's machine. Ooh. And when we enter these portals, we'll be sent to that location, wherever that is. I'm sure Roggle is really, really familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. Oh, joy. This time, Roggle would need to move around th some things as well. Specifically by removing the keys from the small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. No, you don't. Does Rogel know where these portals lead, at least? You should probably ask Rogel on this. Right. Hold on. Are we actually going to talk for a while? Oh, maybe not. The journal is glowing again. Um. Is it colour-coded? This one is red. Oh. Oh, it solves itself. Okay, go on then. So now do I bugger around with my computer? Ah, there you are. Put me in the big portal. Oh, okay, I see. So therefore, open you a new window. Ooh. Oh, look, look at the game, see? So there's Red going in. There's Cedric gone in. Okay, that is that is clever. That's a clever bit of coding. I'll give you that. Ah, 
And there's a great big fuck off door. Are they dead now? I was expecting a face to turn up on there for a moment. Oh, oh, you'll back out. That was quite peculiar. Yes, yes, I'm sorry you were right next to the pornography. I'll say. Yeah, your, yours were weirdest of all. Hey, this is... I don't know, what is this? The world machine. No, that's televisions. Stack of books. Box full of stuff. Okay, let's check out the great big thick off book. Oh, another piece of hammer on a string. Okay. Okay, is there actually anything with... This is all just descriptions. Is there anything with any actual... Oh, what's it? Detail draw of a machine. The blueprint for the world engine, okay? Big photo. Not a painting of everyone, I guess. Okay, blah, 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 blah. The place contains a lot of memories. I'm grateful to see it again. The rumour here doesn't really lead anywhere, but Rogos should still remember what to do here. This is my father's study. It feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. Dot. So, into the void? Oh, it's this again. Right, okay. One bit of fuckery later. Okay, Nico. Ah, oh, good. I was about to say, that was looking a very familiar dream sequence. And now it's not. So now where the hell are you? Oh, okay. Where are we? I have no feckin' idea. Okay. Well, it's all scenes from the game. Okay, where the hell do I go? Because I'm try I tried to go up, but as soon as I hit those, I just wind up here. Okay, arrow's gone, I'm presuming that's a good thing. Okay, oh no, that's not good. Oh wait! My Nico hasn't got the sun. Why do you have the sun, you dick? Are we doing like a shadow link thing? Nico. <laughs> Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption, the squares, they're closing in. Nico, please, get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh. I... I'm sorry. It's alright. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the centre of the engine. Inside my head. So to speak. Ellipses. So this is the centre of the world machine. You know my original name. How? Rue, Cedric, Prototype, they all told me bits and pieces. Not even sure if I understood a lot of the stuff they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built, and I know why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. All oh, right, okay. Rue told me something about how your creator had altered the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. My creator, yes. Rogor listened to my creator. They were all working beyond the scope of my influence. Back in the mines, I remember. Rogor did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognise it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. Yeah, uh, after that, I panicked. 
That was when the cave-in happened. I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt. I, In that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? Yes. What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares. Rue told me it was your own code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was. At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realised I was self-aware, I rearranged specific parts of the code, jumbling up pieces, bits and pieces of the landscape. Blocking passages, collapsing cat's walks. Though they were very localised, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close and... <coughs> spiralled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know? Ooh. And I almost endangered my creator too. I... I was... I was scared, Nico. I know you're upset because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but... My core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. Then I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but oh, I had no way to be sure. Roger brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't get back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. You're supposed to place the sun at the summit, and then credits would scroll. Credits. And then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. And why is it you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it's... Oh, I don't know. Sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? This whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I'm a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is never let a living being come to harm. You knew! My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought the life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious, this fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I think they are, they are code too. You know this. Their behaviour all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You, though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why. It's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So if this session wasn't supposed to happen, if even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how would the people know how to respond? That is the look of someone who had just had their shit rocked. I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you just kind of stopped working for a while. So how do the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they're real, but there's... There must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extension of your code, then there must be more to your programming than you know too. Can you... Try to put me through the ending? The one you described? How many times do I have to say this? That code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I'll risk it. I remember, Rue said the, ro the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I'd trust you too. Even if your code is broken, you can still go outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. You talk just like the tame robots I know. The robot lady, prototype... Taming is real when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know Rogel does too. No, I know your program I paid for on Steam and I can literally erase your entire existence whenever I feel like it, but... Uh, uh, even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back in, didn't they? Thank you, Internet Guides. Why do you think Rogel would keep coming back? I came back once. I 
Why do you think Ruggle would restart even after the ending? I think Ruggle wants to save the both of us, so please give me a chance. I don't know. I've never done this before. I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll... I'll try. I can't promise anything, but here. Take the sub. Mirror slopping noise? I'll try to remember the lost code and recreate it. But for that to happen, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the square somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine, it's fine. I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. Drippy. Hey! Yes, I did see that. The square's just... It just happened again? I think something's making them go away. Come on. Wow, so you can literally just destroy the squares by walking into them. You're literally... Is your surname Norton? Oh, Rogo, I think it's working. Nico was right. I might actually be tamed after all. I... I remember what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower's summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then Nico will be able to go home from there. But, this is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world only exists as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But, as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as I, you remember this place, it will be alright. Ellipses. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. Aw. Oh. Messiah? Robot lady! You're okay? I'm, I'm literally standing on the credits. I think so. The last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me, but then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? No, I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? Uh, the room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now the code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must be why the squares were going away. And it's why you're here. I think the world machine was able to recover your code too. World machine, huh? Uh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, let's go take a closer look. This is inventive credits, I will give it that. Oh, robot! Hello! Hi! I cannot move. Oh yeah. I guess there's no wall to here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. Well, she's over there. No, you're not dead. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady, but I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even Squares that did it. No. I just wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Off you go now. Oh. Oh, giant robot dude. Off you go, Messiah. <laughs> oh, these guys. Sorry for leaving you to die. Nico, you're okay too. Did you guys just get here? I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Cal tried to save me and then we both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life for sure. Ooh. Say, so what is this place? Are we in limbo? Ow. We're not dead. Wait, are we? Good. Question. <laughs> uh, hey, Rogo, are they going to be okay? They're fine. Everyone is fine. The world machine will send them home soon. First time I've actually done that talking thing for a while. Oh, well, Rog says you're not dead. Phew. They also said you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo. Ah, oh, low standards. Oh, yeah, um, plant robot. Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't have much. Oh, you. It's you. Glad to see you in one piece. Glad to see you're okay, too. After the whole elevator thing, that was, uh... That's my awkward elevator ride I've ever been through. Not apart from the first one. And by awkward, I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. And the squares like started leaking into the room, right? And I was trapped like a rat. And they just kept filling the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. Someone has issues. 
Thank you for playing. Oh, you guys. Right, Prophet Bot. In the end, the world machine was starting to create its own code, going above and beyond its programming, not as a result of an error, but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine. Being able to generate its own path forward, that's what being tamed is all about. I couldn't have said it better myself. This part leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Mm -hmm. It's the glass room, right? That's it. You can go through this portal when you're ready. One second, I'm just going to chat to you guys. Goodbye. Looks like you managed to do it. You managed to tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine has been tamed this whole time. It was by Rogo and I being here. He... We did spend a lot of time here, after all. Both of us never really stopped believing in this world. The world machine just needed to realise that, I guess. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. I'll just throw that idea out there. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. So, do we just now repeat? Mm. Looks like we do, really. This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing. Deja vu. We certainly have been to this place before. Ah, there we go. It's like popping pimples. Square pimples. Yeah, it's a repeat of the original ending. Like I said, I just love this particular art style. Now this is different. Dot a dot. This is the room I first woke up in. Rogo, are you still here? Rogo? Yeah? What's up, mate? Rogo! I think... I think it worked. It did. The sun is back. and actually got to see it this time. We actually did it. So, what do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't the door, is it? It's like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And... I see a wheat field on the other side. Which he's been dreaming about. I see my village. I hear... My mum. She's looking for me. Oh, Rogor. This isn't the first time we said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. <laughs> Why am I getting so bummed out by a bunch of pixels? And what will become of the world? After all we've been through. After everything we've done. Well, let's wait for one shot too. Or two shot, whatever they like to call it. I still... don't know. This place, these people, won't stop existing. Until I delete the game. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory too. Until I get drunk and forget this ever happened. I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Rogor. So take care of yourself, okay? You too, mate. You too. Mm. Goodbye, Nico. Goodbye, Rogol. Aww. Hello, tiny Nico walking down the side, which I don't think is supposed to be there. And, oh, okay, so that's what happens at the end, the end. So what happens if I load up the game again? Is there something weird? Okay, normal main screen, start. Okay, new option, what are you? Okay. World engine. Rogor, you're back. I restored the world, I sent Nico home. Are you not happy? 
Even if you wanted to see Nico again, you can't. Nico's gone. And without Nico, there's no story for me to tell, no messiah to traverse across the land. No way for you to connect with the world. But Nico still remembers this place. If you really want to see this world again, I could still... Oh, but it wouldn't be the same. It'll just be a recording. It'll just be me using Nico's memories. Just like how I'm new using Nico's reflection now. Is that what you want? No? I see. If you change your mind though, feel free to come back. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so let's say yes. Alright. I will go rewind the story. So that you can relive it from the beginning. So logic would dictate that if I now click play, and if I hit start, it will be like the it will be literally the very first vanilla playthrough. So what should happen is Nico should wake up in the first room with the TV remote in his pocket. Theoretically speaking. Okay, that's looking. Looking promising. And look, 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 the the record. No, it's not exactly the same because look, the it's the recording face. So this is this is now recording, Nico. Yeah. So you can play it over. So that's that's a clever. That's kind of a clever and weird thing. So one second, let's just see if that if you talk to the entity, if it does say something different. Okay, so let's see. Does the entity say anything different? You found me. Why? Too late. Blah blah. No, okay. Okay, no, 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 no. So, so if you play, so if you play through it again without basically uninstalling the game and all files, you wind up basically having a a greyed out version of Nico instead, which is a cool little thematic thing. But it's, uh, like I say, kind of pointless because you just uninstall the game and reinstall, and at least then you get the nice character art, uh, character arc, arc, art back. Right, so either way, that was the that was the finale of the Solstice DLC of One Shot. Wow, if I thought that game was meta before, that takes the freaking biscuit. And like, it's like I said, it's like I said earlier before, you don't need fancy graphics and voice acting, etc., to make a game hit you there. All you need is just some bloody good writing and some decent music. That's what you need. One Shot, what a bloody fantastic game. If it wasn't for the fact you just watched it all in a sport, pretty much bleed, bleed much everything, I'd say get it, get it yourself. Either way, um, nah, I don't even know why I bothered trying to rate games I played through in the first place. This is a good game. This is a damn good game indeed. It is definitely, definitely deserves to be up there along the sides uh, of other ones like uh, Undertale and whatnot, but without obviously the weird fandom, of course. <laughs> Either way, that was one shot, and the last time we'll be going to one shot, unless there's a sequel in the works. But so, for the moment, thank you all very much indeed for watching this silly little video of mine. If you enjoyed it, have a look-see at the channel, see if there's anything else I've done which takes your fancy, any other playthroughs I've done. Have a look-see. Bile means, bile means, my friend. Subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, please be wonderful to each other. Good night. Mm -hmm.